pitch. And that one hammered. That's back there. It's gone. Lucas Correa Jr. He's very comfortable because he has the ability to get the ball to the baseball. He's a threat. What's going on guys? Today we're gonna check out MLB The Show 22 on the PlayStation 5. Most of the video is gameplay in 4K 60 FPS and it's nice to have 60 FPS gameplay for this game. However, the frame rate dips significantly during cutscenes. And since you're spending a lot of time looking at cutscenes and replays, you do get this up and down effect when it comes to the frame rate. 60 FPS during gameplays dips down during cutscenes and then of course course goes back up to 60 for the next pitch you'll need about 61 gigabytes of space to run the show 22 which is sort of middle of the pack when you compare to other ps5 titles it takes 46 seconds to go from dashboard to the main menu quite a bit of that time is from connecting to the online servers from the main menu, you can jump into the first pitch as quick as 13 seconds. The game also does have activity cards that'll speed up things for you as well. So that's the highlights when it comes to the technicals of MLB The Show 22. For the rest of the video, enjoy some gameplay in 4K 60 FPS. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And now two gone. Really nice execution of the cut fastball right there. Similar to how you might throw a two-strike slider, start it middle away, let it break and take over that outside corner of the plate. But sometimes with a cutter, you just don't know how much it'll move. I think he's good, but I think he was also a little lucky right there. Andrew McCutcheon swings through one there. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Kicks and fires. That one fouled off. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's out number three. Bull Bichette up to the dish. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. And a pitch. Rips one to right. Base hit. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. Back to back singles. Nice job that of driving good. that pitch the other That's way on a line. You know, hitters. They take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchup. Oh, now this ball gets down. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. No left field. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. And a pitch. Line drive. Base hit. One run is in. Runner at third. Puts on the brakes. Base is still loaded. And still only one away. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want. But his resume speaks for itself. And here is Matt Chapman. Lauer back to work. Hit hard, base hit. In to score. And they hold the runner at third. Bases remain loaded here. Still only one gone. With the bases juiced, he refused to get Paul happy. He stayed with it himself, drove the ball to center field. That'll get across a run. Next to hit, Alejandro Kirk. Hard ground ball, base nine. Runner in from third to extend their lead. It's three zip. Runner at third puts on the brakes. 
Bases still loaded and still only one away. Santiago Espinal next up for the Blue Jays. Back up the middle and a base hit. One run is in. And they hold the runner at third. Bases remain loaded here. Still only one gone. Now it's Jansen to hit. And he deals. Well struck left field. And it's gone. Danny Jansen hits one out. His second home run of the series. And they tack on to their lead. It's 8-0. Well, he comes through big time with the grand slam here, but you also got to give some credit to the guys ahead of him. Good at bats to get on base and really set the table for a very special moment in this one. And here comes the Brewers manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Eric. New inning getting started. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game, looking at the pitching matchup, where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. Next one off the plate inside. And it's a ball to strike. In the air, center field. Springer there makes the catch, and there's one down. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Fly ball to right. Hernandez under it and makes the grab. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's Lorenzo Kane. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. First pitch just misses. He's so solid, calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. Pretty good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Out to short. Bichette picks it up. And that's it. They've won the World Series. A huge congrats to the World Series champs. This was an incredibly special team all season long. And what I love most is that these home fans that supported these guys, game in and game out, they got to witness it in their home ballpark. So many memories over this season, but in this game. This city is already going crazy. Welcome back on the show as we see some of the final moments and reactions in this World Series clinching game. And now let's go down to the field where they're set to present the Commissioner's Trophy to the World Series champs. For Chris Singleton and our outstanding crew, I'm John Chambi. This has been the World Series on MLB The Show.